The big show that opened over the last week was Evita, which is being revived at the Regent's Park Open Air Theatre, such a beautiful setting. It was really, really interesting to see the show because I have only ever seen the Bill Kenwright touring production. Yeah, it's one of the production I've seen. But I've never seen like a, someone put their own stamp on it. And it's interesting, a lot of people are kind of comparing it to Jesus Christ Superstar and talking about... The, well, the what's interesting about that is the only thing I had to compare because I haven't seen it. The only thing I have, and I haven't seen Jesus Christ Superstar either, I only have the production shots to talk about and I just think stylistically they look quite similar. Mm. And I saw someone stood with a mic stand. Mm. Um, it's very stripped back. It's very industrial looking and it's very raw. It looks mm. very raw and metallic as, mm. as I would describe it and so in that respect I can see the comparison but I haven't seen them so I don't know mm. you know visually or you know structurally as the show works whether they are what do you think that they- I think Jesus Christ Superstar as a show we have seen different productions and different interpretations yeah. over the years okay, so yeah. you do have the traditional Bill Kermack production yeah, yeah. but you think there was that big arena production yeah, a few years ago yeah. now there's this production so I think it kind of lends itself to different different kind of interpretations yeah. it is a rock show it can yeah. work in a big arena yeah. it can work um, kind of at the open air theatre kind of strip back a bit more it's kind of that's more kind of not obvious but it's not like shocking mm. whereas a vita you don't think oh let's strip it all back and let's put it on kind of a very basic set so in that way the kind of the the, the stakes and the element of risk i felt was actually very different between the two sure. shows it brought out a lot of different things within the story there was some really clever imagery and some very clever nods to the original production so if Great. you do all i'm going to say is just don't be deceived if you see photos in the finale yeah, sure. in terms of what the overall show looks like because things happen and not always what it seems yeah you know ava is wearing trainers for the majority of the show right um there's all kind of different different elements that come into play throughout sure. throughout the piece for me the absolute best part of the show was the ensemble they worked so hard in the first act they literally did not leave the stage if they left the stage they were leaving to do a quick change right and they were working their asses off <laughs> like they were on it so it's been choreographed by fabian aloise who is just hardcore the choreo for those kind of first 10 minutes involving the steps and kind of going up and stepping right. down a step it was just full out yeah. there was not a single person on that stage who was not giving like 125% but there's nothing more rewarding than seeing yeah. a company of actors who are being utilised you know if you've got an ensemble use them you know exactly but I was genuinely a bit scared I was like oh my god I mean I know I'm not an actor I'm not trained <laughs> and it's totally irrelevant to, for me to compare myself <laughs> to these people but I was like I would be terrified if I had to do the eight shows a week <laughs> like I think they're tired it's like the equivalent of doing probably like playing Alpha or playing Effie White like it's for every single one of them they're just working their butts off and you don't get that Evita isn't normally a really dancey show well, this from is the what thing. I've seen there's no doubt about it Ava is one of the toughest roles mm-hmm. in MT I mean that Andrew Lloyd Webber score is insanely challenging is all over the place so they've brought over a US star we've got Samantha Pauly who was most recently in the Chicago production of Six <laughs> Six is everywhere um, and she's actually played the role before she acts it impeccably well she she does not leave the stage kind of hardly at all um, even kind of her water breaks are choreographed like and she's doing it everything perfectly in time with other things that are going on stage it's a huge huge role and she gives her all um, and hits some big notes it's it's a remarkable Good remarkable girl. performance traditionalists will not be able to cope people who <laughs> like want to see the original production yeah. just don't and you're not open minded then just don't go it's stay fine. away because you will have a heart attack sure. I just want to say that I think it is absolutely amazing that the Regents Park Open Air Theatre are being bold and are taking risks I think it is such a beautiful space people love going there that they kind of have a given audience there are people who will go and see whatever's being done so they could just play it safe and do yeah. nice revivals yeah. all the time yeah. but the fact that they're doing Jesus Christ Superstar and taking risks yeah. and the fact they're doing a Vita yeah. and they're doing it unlike anyone's ever seen it before yeah. um, is really impressive and it's a real testament to their programming and I hope we get to see more of these kind of reimagined um, bold productions well, there why not do something different and that's where they're really clever getting the good creative teams mm. in, getting the right creative mm. teams mm. in yeah and of course I haven't said Jamie Lloyd's name it's directed by Jamie Lloyd I mean, who is phenomenal I 
I've said many times over the years that it's my favourite directors. And you just know with Jamie Lloyd that whether you're going to like it or you're not going to like it, you're going to come out with so much to talk about. Exactly And I think that's what brilliant theatre making is. You know, you just need to get people talking. You want to give people opinions. And, you know, he brought out moments in that show which I've never noticed before. And he kind of brought out new messages and really made me think. I mean, I just came out and was flawed. Right. Um, It was, you know... I bowed out to him. He's absolutely, absolutely incredible. It was so cool, actually, on the night. It started raining during the last 10 minutes. The rain held off. Everyone was kind of prepared for rain. Right. And um, because, of course, everyone, the the open-air theatre is entirely open. There's no shelter. There's no roof that comes on. People always sort of ask that um, when I'm talking about it. Yeah. Um, And the last 10 minutes, the heavens opened just as that kind of font, as that finale was happening. So I could literally feel Ava's final tears streaming down my cheeks. I was like, J.B. Lloyd is taking this theatre craft to a whole new level. Yeah, amazing. I'm like feeling her weep. Great. It was so dramatic. (laughs) It was so cool. Um, So the Theatre runs at the Open Air Theatre until Saturday the 21st of September 2019.